Well, uh, what I have now is a um, BNK model 1650 tri output power supply. This is a nice bench power supply for uh, breadboarding, uh, in particular, uh, transistor, semiconductor, digital, uh, linear, you know, analog kind of signal uh, chips and so on. Um, because of the voltages and the capabilities, this is uh, this provides two uh, independently controlled uh, power supplies, zero to 25 volts adjustable. Um, you can track. You can make both A and B track together, so that B will track A. So you adjust the voltage on A, and B will follow. And uh, you have uh, fold back uh, voltage and current protection. So if your current tries to exceed what you're capable of, then the voltage will fold back and, and you'll uh, protect the circuit uh, and protect the uh, power supply. And then as a third voltage, you have a, um, a steady 5-volt supply that provides up to 5 amperes of, uh, of current. So that would be usable for... Uh, uh, TTL, ECL, any number of uh, different analog, you know, anything that could work off a 5 volt supply. 5 amps is more than adequate uh, for normal breadboarding. So, uh, at some point in time, uh, any experimenter is going to wind up needing uh, this kind of a supply. I actually have one myself on my bench. That's mine there, I use for my breadboarding and uh, have used it for the last uh, year and a half and uh, this unit uh, is identical to it and is functioning well and, uh, and I'm happy to be able to offer it. I'm, I think at some point in time everybody needs one. Uh, the unit has been, uh, has been reconditioned, uh, has been spray painted, looks very nice, uh, no major blemishes on the front uh, just normal usage there's a little a little rub mark here not bad uh, actually looks very new doesn't it I think so and then the side panels and then I'll give you a look at the rear here try and take a look Okay. And what I've got rigged up for us right now, just to kind of demonstrate the supply, I have uh, a bank of 200 ohm 3 watt resistors. There's actually eight of them there. And uh, I can choose uh, to have four of them in parallel, which would take me to the maximum current reading of a half an amp on each one of the variable supplies or I can uh, double it to show that uh, it can handle it. And uh, we have our metering switch here right now. We're metering channel A we're me and we're reading voltage on this meter. So uh, as I as I adjust let's see if I can get, there we go. As I adjust channel A I'll bring her up to uh, say 5 volts. That's 5 volts on the meter. And if I switch to current reading on A, right now I see that I've got uh, 0.2 milliamps. And uh, that would actually be right because I have a bank of eight 200 ohm resistors. And uh, that would give me um, uh, 25 ohms. Uh, four would be 50 and then two, two 50s in parallel would be 25. And 25 ohms in... 5 volts over 25 ohms, I'm going to get uh, 0.2 amps. Um, 5 volts divided by 25.2. Yes, thought I was right. And uh, as I increase my... Uh, I'll go ahead and leave it on current. We'll increase the current to 0.3. There's 0.3. At 0.3, my uh, voltage should be... Um, uh, 25 divided by 0.3 would be, uh, no. Let's 
7.3 times 25 would be 7.5 volts. So let's see if we got it. Yes, we have 7.5 volts on the voltmeter. So that's uh, tracking very well. I can take it up to 25. There's 25 there. I don't want to leave it there too long. And uh, if I had 0.5, which right now I'm reading 0.5 on my meter, uh, and it's telling me that that's about 12.5 volts. So uh, 0.5 times 25 would be 12.5, yes. So that's working very well. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll move this to channel B. Oh, yeah. And we'll see if B is capable of doing the same thing. Pardon me a moment. All right, we're connected up. We're on channel B. I'm reading voltage on channel B right now, and if I adjust channel B to give me 5 volts, that's 5 volts approximately there, then my current reading is 0.2 on channel B. If I go to uh, 0.3, then my voltage is 7.5. So that's also tracking very well. And if I adjust the 0.5, then my voltage should be 12.5 again. And it is. And, uh, That gives you an idea of the uh, of the current characteristics, and and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the five volt supply here in a moment. All right, I've hooked a uh, a voltmeter up, uh, and a digital voltmeter, and I'm going to check the the voltage coming out of the the different the, both channels, channel A, B, and then uh, C for the five volts. And we're going to see what kind of uh, correlation we get to the analog, just uh, to show that the analog is reading accurately and that what we did earlier is valid. Right now I'm going to adjust the voltage on the analog until I see 5 volts. All right, there's 5. I'm reading 5.08 on the digital. Let's adjust to 10. All right, there's 10. And I'm getting 10.1. Let's go 15. There's 15, and it appears to be 15.33. 20. There's 20, I'm getting 20.3. 20 and 25. I'm getting 25.2. Not bad for an analog. All right, let's take her to channel 2 or B. And we'll switch our meter to B. Okay, so now we are on B, and I'll be adjusting B's voltage. The meter now is reading B's voltage. So let's adjust the meter to 5 volts. All right, there's 5 volts to me. That's 5.16. Go to 10. There's 10 volts. And I'm getting 10.26. All right, let's go to 15 volts. And 15, I'm getting 15.33. 20. And 
I'm getting 20.18, 25, 25.2. So we're reading accurately to within two tenths of a volt uh, on both uh, scales. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 5 volts. Okay, we're immediately being told that we have a little bit over 5 volts. And uh, there we are connected across the digital. And I'm reading 5.03. Five volts, five point zero three on the digital. So there you have it. We have an excellent looking uh, power supply, and it's functioning well. Uh, I it does come with a manual, a user manual. It comes with the uh, the schematic diagram. It comes with some calibration features on it, and uh, and it explains all of the functionality. These, these uh, units can be handled independently. They can be caused to track one another. One could be set up as a positive supply. The other could be a negative supply. They can be paralleled uh, so that you wind up with twice as much current. Um, they explain that in the manual too. In some cases they, uh, uh, or at least in one case, they did have you uh, throwing in some 0.1 ohm resistors for current limiting, but uh, but there's a lot of flexibility here with these three different power supplies in one. Excellent breadboard supply. Uh, recommend it highly and uh, good luck.